Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. You want me? You said give us a prayer? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, good evening, Father. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, truly, we we uh, we're coming here together. We know that you're you're already here with us because we know that you're with us at all times. Uh, but your word singled out where two or three are gathered that you're in the midst of them. Yes, sir. So we believe that this is a special time. Yes. Uh, that this is a, a, a time for clarity, for yes. simplicity and, and understanding, for yes. truth and, and revelation uh, to be readily available to us as we go through this these, these scriptures tonight. Yes. Um, we come against anything that is going to be distracting, uh, anything that's going to hinder us. Uh, we, we pray that that we are led by the spirit as we Absolutely. go forth, and we claim that everything shall be done and decently decently and and in order yes Lord. And that it shall be it, it, it shall land on good ground yes Lord. and that we shall be able to apply these things to our lives yes so that we can be victorious yes. and that we can minister these things to like-minded people Yes, we truly thank you, and uh, we look forward and and in in advance to what you have for us this evening. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen, 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 man. Elder, I mean, uh, Brother Isaac, this right here, man. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you that God wants to share this with us, and and it came from the fact of uh, the spillover from from Sunday. Uh huh. When the if you if you I had a video of the uh, obviously you know I have a video of the the session yeah I even edited it to take out some of those offending things out of it but but one of the things was if, if did you pick up the 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 righteous indignation uh, that was coming out oh yeah yeah that's why I was the position I was taking was the reason of that yeah you, you saw it was like and, and we we've seen this i know you've seen it in, in a church service the, the yeah. guy get up on the pulpit you ain't gonna bring that in here that yeah. ain't coming in here yeah oh and then every oh yeah you know get pastor tell them tell them tell them and uh i was sitting there looking at that that zeal that 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 was coming out of out of the brother's mouth, and I mean, one time you remember they they're being facetious, as if they were communicating what they believe the people that do that behavior was saying. You, 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 you narrow-minded uh, bigot. Uh -huh. You you know that was being facetious, right? You know they won't they won't say that that's they won't point at you or me. They were enacting as if that's what they feel is projected on believers from people with those behavior. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. uh, that's how it sounded to me. I, I didn't think it was trying to say you narrow-minded, you know, bigot, right? But I, I, I wanted, I, I, I was struggling with it. Like I said, I dealt with the brother. I talked to the elder last night at about three o'clock, and I had to go to work. I said, I gotta go sleep. <laughs> I gotta go sleep. But but I want to throw something at you, brother, that that you was rightfully pointing out last a uh, few weeks ago. And it goes back to the, the uh slide, and uh, I'm gonna get it up in a second. I gotta swap it out on my end, because I can't see the TV right now because it's blocking it. Uh Check this out, brother. This is this is this is for you and me. Okay. All right. Now you you I told you that when you saw that scripture, that you had a different uh, thought process in it, right? Remember we were yeah. talking. 
I even yeah. took the title out. I took the title out. Yeah. Right? And because you, you uh, let me make sure I get the right one. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. that's it. 1614. All right. Now, Brother Addison, when you, matter of fact, you read that one script, that one verse again, that one verse. Mark, uh, 1614. Afterward, we're talking about Jesus. Yeah. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which which had seen him after he was risen. All right. And what you say you got out, if you remember, do you remember what God was telling you on that? If you could? Yeah. God was, was showing me that the, these people were given the gospel. And they didn't believe it. And it took Jesus to upbraid braid them and, with their unbelief. And, exactly. and their, because their hearts were hardened. Right. You know, and uh, and, he, and and I can only imagine if they did not see him. Right. Would their minds and their hearts have ever changed to believe that he 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 was risen? Right, right, right. Now, now, what I, what I, what I got out of that because if you remember this, the series that came from there after that was my focus on the unbelief. Yeah. Can we? Can Elder Bishop broke that thing down about that unbelief, right? Yeah. And they had all that stuff in there, and it seemed like that was the 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 uh, major thing. But when I looked at this. I, I, and when we talk about Sunday, and we talk about the sower, you know, and we talk about the fact is that our heart is that container where we pull that substance out, right? Remember that, mm -hmm. that substance, and that, and, and Mark was talking about the fact is that when you, when that, the devil comes to take what was put in your heart, yes, out, because he don't want that substance to to to, to manifest itself in us, right? Well, well, then he told you all those tools. I we you know he talked one time and said those tools, the the lusts of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, right? The 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 deceit for the riches and, and the lust of or the deceit for the riches, what it was, uh choke the word and make it come unfruitful. Yeah. Right? Well, 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 brother, I was looking at that and like I said, even after your revelation. I was taking and focusing on just the uh, unbelief piece. Now, if if we, if we even say unbelief, what would they not believe it? If you, uh, what do you think they were not believing? They were not believing the report that Jesus had had was risen from the dead. And and, and then when you say the the. Uh, the heart piece. What 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 part? What aspect of the heart was uh, was hard? Well, uh, that's a good one. Is a good question. Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I, I think the hardness of their heart was because they didn't accept it. Be and and the, their hearts was hardened because Jesus told them that it would be so. He did right. You know, he said a little while. Yeah. You won't see me, and then in a little while you'll see me. <laughs> what, 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 Philip the said, "Wait a minute, what, what are you saying? What? Yeah, what are you saying? What do you, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> in right. a little while? What, what do you what? mean by this? In a little while? In a little while. <laughs> yeah. right. So, right. so, uh, <laughs> I, I can, I can, uh, only imagine, uh when they seen what happened to him okay come on now oh, now you're talking so talk to you him. know and 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 the witness that they got talk to him lord and uh talk seeing uh -huh. that he did give up the ghost okay yes sir uh, uh but not realizing but not having the holy spirit to witness to them at that point they ain't been in dubai power yet nope so i believe that's what uh christ was talking they're, they're their hearts had been hardened uh -huh. so that they could not 
understand and receive what was given to them, uh -huh. even though it was told to them before it happened. Right. It was prophesied. Jesus prophesied something that happened uh -huh. the next day. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. sir, right, right. From the end from the beginning. You know, that's one of the concepts of God speaking the end from the beginning, right? Yeah. And then, but to the case, I'm gonna speak it. I'm gonna speak it. And I never even thought about it at, at that in that manner. Uh -huh. I mean, he prophesied that thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it came to pass, but yet they they did not believe. Uh huh. They, they, the unbelief piece came in there, right? Yeah. I, what what I want to throw at you is 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 on that hardness of heart piece. Okay. Is, is what I want to throw in there because I I'm not sure, and it, it, I, I, it's possible too that they their hearts were hardened to not accept that he didn't rise again. But I do want to throw this at you, though, because we got to put some things that happen in perspective. Okay. Remember, he met them in the upper, and he met them after he rose again. That, you know, it was that that same day. Sir Thomas wasn't there. Yeah. And and Peter and James, Peter and John ran to the temple to the tomb. Yeah. And, and and one of them said they believed. I think it was John said he believed. Yeah. Peter was like. Man, I don't know what to make of this, right? Yeah. He, yeah. He went in first. John went to the. <laughs> John went. John. John went spreading the gospel. <laughs> John, John said, oh, "I think this is real. This is real." But it was interesting. That John wouldn't go into the tomb first. He yeah. asked Peter, got to the tomb, looked in. I think he rose again. He might be. He didn't go in. He looked in. <laughs> I don't think the scriptures say he went in there. <laughs> he, did, he, did, he didn't go in there till, till Peter went in there. Oh, he did go in. Yeah, but Peter went in first, though. Yeah. <laughs> Peter wanted to pick up the uh, the 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 the, 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 straw, the, th the cough that was yeah. on the ground, right? But, yeah. But John went, look, look at the funny part I'm saying it. Look, I believe he might. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> look, it's Brother Addison. You in there, Jesus? <laughs> I'd rather see you. <laughs> don't, don't, come, don't look but at they, 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 <laughs> You know, and did they really believe until they saw the, the empty tomb? Well, and that's on the foot. John, John did, but Peter didn't. And the Bible want to say John, Peter, John believed. But the point is, remember, they, they, that same day, somewhere in that same time period, after they walked back, they went hiding again, and rightfully so. And um, he appeared he, in the upper room. He appeared in front of them, right? So, so what I'm saying is, they they saw him now. See, this this go preach, it seemed to be something that came afterward because we didn't get that in the the gospel of him telling them to go preach until later in the scriptures, right? Uh -huh. I don't know if it's in the same chapter or not, but that's irrelevant. My point is, we didn't, at least in those scriptures, we didn't hear him then upbraid them for their unbelief in hardness of heart. Uh -huh. we, didn't, we didn't get that. They implied that that came, I'm coming, because we know that in John, he talked to him at the at the uh, at the waterfront, mm -hmm. and, and and he said, "Children, you got anything to eat?" And if you remember when he he might have been in that room, he yeah. said, "Y'all got anything to eat?" So so did that. Let's pull that up for a second. Let's let's pull that up. Maybe maybe I want to maybe we can put this in perspective, just to make sure. I, I just want to check this out. But you you see where I'm coming from is it doesn't appear to be that. That happened at the same time. We got it's chapter. I'm gonna put it up for you. It was chapter uh, 28. Then it does seem to be in that chapter that he, uh, you know, verse one on the title you see resurrection, right? Yeah. So that happened. Cause John was a little. The book of John is more detailed on this. Yeah. So we got here. He departed. They cried quickly. Uh, and they did, my family said, what, verse 8, and they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and 
great, great tool. tool, right? And then run to bring this to you know, bring his disciples' word. Now, yeah. at the woman, who's doing that? Who's running? Who ran? Who ran anyway? <laughs> Is, was it Mary? Because that was, those are three. I, I believe that was Mary. Mary it was like yeah, because verse yeah. Uh, one. Uh, that because person, that was Jesus talking to Mary, who who was excited because she didn't even recognize him. Uh huh. Yep, that was Mary. That was the female that ran with great joy, right? Yeah. And then they jumped into the this in Matthew. They jumped to the guards uh, talking and trying to get they're gonna pay them money, right? Now we go into sixteen. We go into the, the Great Commission. Matter of fact, that's uh, this is Matthew goes to go teach, right? So mm -hmm. let's go. Let's go sixteen. I'm, I'm gonna, I want to check. I want to. I'm just trying to get the sequence here. Maybe sequence again is that chapter is dealing with a resurrection, appearing to Mary Magdalene, right? Yeah. Jesus appeared to two disciples. Mm -hmm. And let me see. And they appeared about they walked and went in there, uh, and they went and told it to the to the residue and and right, right then it said neither believed them right yeah and then afterward he appeared to love it as they sat at meat and the only thing i've thought about when you go to the book of john that was not indicated they was eating but he did but they had food though because he said you got a what a honeycomb or something you got <laughs> yeah son eat right yes yeah, son yeah. eat right all right uh so the John, so it's possible that that same day he upbraided them because they unbelief. But oh, hold on one second, Ben. Okay. You did? I don't want you. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Well, but my, my point is, I don't, the reason I don't think this is the same setting is because Thomas was not there based on the book of John when he appeared to the, to the other disciples. Right? And if you're going to braid them, he's going to braid all of them. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think in that one, he said, afterward, he appeared until the 11th. Right? Did you see that? Yeah. After 14, he appeared unto them yeah. as they sat at me. So that indicates that that's a separate event that occurred, opposed to the one. Yeah, it was. It was. It was after uh, the two disciples. Yeah. Then he talked to the rest of them, the residue. Right. The people that I guess they weren't the twelve disciples. Yeah. And it says neither believed they them. Yeah, and that, it, that I, was the that was the uh, uh, the two disciples, right? Uh, sharing because, the, the good and, news. And I think it's Luke where that was talking about they walk and they went to go eat. He broke bread and it was like, woo! Didn't our hearts burn when when you know when he was talking to us? Remember that one? Yeah. And then when he broke the bread, he revealed himself and disappeared. Mm -hmm. Which would have been enough for me to say, "Oh man, let's go, <laughs> let's go." But I was still were ready to tell. If that was, I got to run and tell you, right? But my point is that this it, it at least had to be like a third time of some time of interaction with them. Uh -huh. And you know that there was a in the water by the waterfront. They went fishing. Yeah. And and uh, he said, "Children, come on, you got anything to eat?" Blah blah blah. We know that Thomas wasn't there the first time when he came, right? And then he appeared again. So he told he told Thomas that yeah. conversation did not seem like this conversation. No, it was I'm gonna break I'm gonna break all, I, this, I'm tightening all of you up. This kind of is almost like I'm I'm getting ready to leave now, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna straighten you out. And the reason why I wanted to say that is. The hardness of heart to me almost sound like what you're getting ready to say is that they saw Jesus down on that cross and they may have had some hardness of heart toward the people who killed him. 
I don't know. Well, I mean, that, that, you know, and then another group I was, I was thinking about the Romans, right? We know that the Romans, remember, they wanted to restore the kingdom. Uh huh. And they didn't, they didn't like the Romans there. We, we, we know that they didn't, people didn't like the. Give me that uh, control. Yeah. It got hot in here. Cool. So, so, so what I'm thinking is, and the reason I want to bring that hardness of heart, be afraid of them for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believe not that which he told, you know, which they had seen, which they had seen him after he was risen, right? Because they believe not them. Oh, they didn't believe, they believe not them which had seen him after he was risen. Yeah. That's that's what you're saying. They 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 because they believe not, but he yeah. hated them for their unbelief and, hard and hardness. Heart, so hard. Yeah, but they believe them not, which had, which had seen him. Yes. Right? Yeah, I, and 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 that that that's what I was saying. They shared the gospel, uh huh, and they didn't receive it. Right, right. It was good. And news. it took him. To be there in person. Yeah. Yeah. So so in other words, when you harden your heart, God, uh, it, it, it chokes. It's one of those things that go back to the Mark chapter four. It chokes the word. It makes it unfruitful, right? Also, also. Yes, sir. They did not have the Holy Spirit. That's true. Right. Yeah, they did not. And I, I do believe that is a a necessary component. Now that I'm reading this, of sharing the gospel. Now, who was sharing the gospel? The people who told him he was risen, right? Yeah, the the disciples. And, but in the, the the disciples, they didn't believe the disciples that saw. Yeah, the rest of them didn't believe. Because yeah. of the hardness of their heart. Right? Correct. But he embraced them because of the hardness of their heart. And then he said, go preach the gospel. Yes. So that tells me that I need you not to have a hardened heart. And I need you to operate and believe. But he also said to stay here. <laughs> until, until, until. Until. Yeah. Until you do so, with power. Right? And, and, power. And, until and you're in power. From right. Upon high. So like you said that 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 good revelation bishop gave was uh they they couldn't enter in with unbelief right yeah and that's right and this right here was they needed the i like the other part you're talking about that rest though energy that rest is allow him to move him to do the things yeah to us right yeah. so yeah. what i'm saying is that hardness of heart chokes the word of God, mm -hmm. because you know people get offended and everything else. So when a believer, when a believer, because he's talking to a believer, of go preach the gospel. He's talking to somebody. I'm gonna send you out to witness, but your hardness of heart got to be addressed. When we, when we have hardness of heart toward people, like the Samaritans, you know they didn't want to miss it. They had no dealing with them, right? Or when, when they had issues with the Roman soldiers, right? It, it, when people have hardness of heart, when you see the indignation that people have when we talk about the other topic we had Sunday, mm -hmm. it chokes the word. Because you you had a very compassionate speech. Yeah, I, and it comes out, it'll come out tomorrow. Uh, where you're saying sin is sin. We got the love. I mean, that, that, was, that was a passion of God talking. We got to love these people. You know, we got to love people. We got to love one another. Right? And and if you have heart as heart, you can't do that, can you? No. And I was talking, when I even talked to my brother last night, I he said, because I told him I had the compassion about how some of these people came into this, this, this way of life. Mm-hmm. Right. And and I have I do have a lot of compassion about that. 
because it, it's, it's tragic. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's tragic for a young child. You know, you you, you got a son. It, that's a, I know you. It, 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 the tragedy in the 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 wrath that will come if 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 you even found out somebody tried to do it. Yeah. The wrath will be. You know what I mean? You could do it. It will be overwhelming. It'd be like, I don't care if you're my brother, I don't care if you're my best friend, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care who you are. Yeah. Game is on. And until somebody called you, call me off of you, you are going down, right? But the point I was saying is that they have the compassion toward that, those people. And and the brother saying, I, I'm not, I'm I'm just saying what he said, and I, if it's here, maybe he'll tell me. He said, see, you got Look what he said. Well, see, you got a you got a pastor heart. I, I, I don't have a pastor heart. I, I don't I, I I don't care about the fact of how people came into a particular way of sinning. Now, I know he probably didn't really listen to what he was saying. Does that make sense? But you really do supposed to have that compassion, right? Yeah, that's a fruit of the spirit. Yeah, that love, right? Yeah. And so, so to not have the consideration of all the people that's impacted by any behavior, like a, take an alcoholic, is in a family. It's not just it's not just the alcoholic. It's the people that have to live with that, right? Yeah. And then, then on top of that, you might not understand why the person's an alcoholic. Because sometimes people are alcoholic because of the pressure and all other things in this world that they. They feel that that's the only place I can run to to escape the the what I'm dealing with. You, yeah. you see what I'm and saying? then there's a there's a pattern. Yeah. You know, there's there's a uh, there's the you know the body desires what the body desires. You know, and then you put your yourself in a a familiar position. Yeah. And your body is going to desire alcohol. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Or pornography. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Or sex, uh -huh, uh -huh. or or drugs, or or some or, escape yeah, it. or or d just d there's whatever. Yeah, you know, um, it's I think I think it's it's just the enemy. The Bible says he 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 goes about as a lion seeking whom he may devour. Right, and I mean, and and uh, and. And the last thing is that if you got some word in you, whether it's it's producing, you know, I mean, whether it's growing or not, yeah. he's coming for it. Yeah, I want to see my sister, Gail. Gail! Hi. 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 Hey, we, we're sitting there doing our Bible study. You can come join us if you like. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Too, too much. Hey. I'll call you. I'll call you later. All right. Stay blessed. <laughs> yeah. So. What'd she say? Too much what? <laughs> I didn't give myself too much information. She just said she was in the bathtub. Yeah. Oh. And, and, and it's amazing when you, like, you talk about your siblings or your own children. You'd be like, oh, that's enough for information. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But 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 also it's amazing when it's not your children, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Anyway, the the uh, it's it's you have to make sure it's, it's just not a black and white thing, and you do have to have compassion because of the things that may drove people to be where they are, uh, and and I don't even see how you can get around that because Christ had compassion toward the yeah, people. Yeah, you know I don't.